story of the red couch began in 1978. The photographer Horst Wackerbart traveled through the United States in a minibus equipped with a huge piece of furniture. He crafted one of the most colorful portraits of American society, creating a photographic monument. By 1990, the red couch had exchanged still pictures for moving ones. Each week, more than four million viewers were hooked on the TV series Stories from the Red Couch. By 1994, the couch stories had walked away with all the best TV awards, such as Montreux, Chicago, Hollywood and New York. Best program, best director, best satire and best TV entertainment. сказать кто я обыкновенная русская женщина меня зовут нина алексеевна шарова and right now, we're in a town outside Moscow, working with children. Dunque, sono eh, il pittore Gianni Cunellis. Io sono Mikhail Gorbachev, vice president del Sovietico Sojuza. Oh, my name is Peter Ustinov. Uh, the, the Queen has said that I must be called Sir, so I have to obey. My name is Darius Mielczewski. 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 The Red Couch serves as a stage which visits people in their everyday lives, linking races and religions and generations. It sees what others are doing, thinking and feeling. The universal couch is the global symbol for new dialogue. 60,000 multimedia portraits and biographical interviews are being compiled. The 15 questions always remain the same, so a global picture of humanity comes into focus. This gallery of mankind will take the form of photos, photo exhibitions, TV films, clips and magazine programs, books, calendars, posters, postcards, CDs and CD-ROMs. Hundreds of thousands of people are able to virtually participate through the internet and become part of the Museum of Mankind. A unique living anthropology documenting the human conditions in the 21st century. The famous red couch lends the project a format with an unmistakable look, something to hold on to, a forum and a common denominator for ethnic diversity. During the course of time, the audience identifies with the universal couch. It becomes something familiar and fulfills the human need for constancy. Where is the couch now? Who is sitting on it?